Welcome to Flash CS6 Tutorial 9. I'm calling it Level 1 Keeping Score. Um, this is the most basic uh, score keeping that I can think of. I'm going to start by opening a new FLA, keeping Action Script 3, and I'm keeping whatever default that I have. I'm going to start by calling this layer Ball, B A L L one underscore MC because we're going to put a movie clip here called ball over here my rectangle tool and click in the corner pick up the oval tool I got a stroke of black I have a green for a fill hold my shift down and I'm making a ball I'm going to modify it oh, excuse me pick up my selection tool Highlight it, modify it, convert it to a symbol, and call it BALL1 underscore MC. Make sure movie clip is selected. Copy that. OK. Open the properties panel and paste it in here for an instance name. Now remember, this is a simple, simple means of keeping score, and it is made for beginners people that are just learning flash for the first time lock in this layer right here insert in the layer calling it ball 2 b a l l 2 underscore mc selecting frame one i still have my oval tool this time i'm going to pick up a different fill color and draw another ball hold my shift down and I'm going to lock that and make one more. And you can guess what this one's called. B-A-L-L-3, shift underscore M-C. Pick up my oval tool. Oops, select that frame. Got to select the frame. Pick up the oval tool. Pick up a different color for the fill. And draw a third ball. Hold my shift down. Gives me a ball. All right. Now. Let's go highlight this one, pick up selection tool, highlight it, modify, convert it to a symbol, B-A-L-L-3, shift underscore M-C, copy that. Okay, while it's selected, pick up the properties panel, paste it in. Now we didn't get, make this one a movie clip, so unlock this layer here, right there. Make sure you get your selection tool. Highlight this one. Modify it, convert it to a symbol. We can just paste in what we have saved, but make it ball two. Copy this. Open the properties panel and paste it in. So now I have three balls, ball one, ball two, ball three. Make sure all these layers are locked. Select the top layer. Insert a layer. Call this text. T-E-X-T. -E Come over here, pick up your text box right there, the text tool. Draw a text box up here somewhere. There it is. Whoa, that's pretty big. Properties panel. Make sure that dynamic is selected. Classic text here. And make sure dynamic is here. And up in here, type, type, type in an instance name. I'm calling it counter underscore TXT, capital C-O-U-N-T-E-R. And I don't need it to be this big. I'm going to make it smaller, around 19 points. And I'm going to give it a nice, bright, reddish color. Then I'm selecting Times New Roman. Click Embed it here. And make sure upper, lower, numerals, and punctuations is selected. And making this a little bit smaller. And that's my text box. Lock that layer. Let's write a little code for these three buttons, uh, three movie clips. We're going to treat them as buttons. Select this text layer, make sure you all, all your layers are locked. Insert a layer, call it AS as in action script. 
select that first frame open the actions panel if you don't have the actions panel here go up to window and you'll find the action panel click on it and you'll have it open and in here type 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 this code it says ball one underscore mc that's that little ball there period add event listener small a capital e capital l that turns blue i go through this with you once open bracket mouse event capital m capital e period that turns blue click all capitals capital c capital l capital i capital c capital k comma that turn commas black and i'm calling this function ball one capital b close bracket semicolon function that's what this is a function f-u-n-c-t-i-o-n turns purple ball one is its name same ball one we just put up here open bracket event small e-v-e-n-t turns blue uh, all this up here turns blue i don't know if i said that or not colon mouse event capital m capital e that turns blue close bracket colon void void turns the same color as function here's an open curly bracket and assume you start typing something in usually the closed curly bracket comes automatically and we're doing what's called a trace t-r-a-c-e turns blue open bracket quotations one close quotation close bracket semicolon so that this button will trace what's called one copying this I have confidence that this code is going to work. Paste it. Change ball one to ball two. Change this to two. Change this to a two. And change this trace to a two. Then come down here, a couple enters. Paste it again. And let's trace this one to a three this time. To a three. To a three. Now we're just doing this to make sure that these movie clips are acting like buttons. I went up here, control, control, test movie, test. And if I click this, over here, there's the one I trace this. I'll trace a two, I'll trace a three. So whichever one I click, it knows which one I clicked. Now we're gonna get that into a score. I'm going way up to the front of this action code and I'm clicking on the very front putting a couple enters using my arrow keys and I'm moving up and I'm doing what's called declaring a variable so type 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 VAR turns purple space count I want a capital C here c-o-u-n-t colon number capital n-u-m-b-e-r as you start to type this a drop down menu will come and as soon as you see the word number, you can press enter, or you can just type the whole thing out, equals zero semicolon. So that's uh, a count is a value that we're going to have. And what we're going to do is each time we press one of these balls, we're going to increment that count, and that count's going to dis be displayed in that text box that we made. Come down here where we see this trace. We'll keep that trace for now. Click on the end of it, put in an enter, and type, 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 type this code. Type, type, type. Count, C-O-U-N-T, that's that variable we just made. Equals, count, equals itself, plus 100, semicolon. So every time we click that green ball, which is ball one, we will add 100 to our text box. And it says, counter underscore txt period txt this txt turns blue that's saying that this box is going to display will equal to whatever is in count so open bracket count close bracket and in this case it'll be 100 when we click this close bracket period two string small t capital s that turns blue open and close semicolon open and close bracket semicolon let's copy that code copy it and let's take this down to ball two enter paste it in and let's make this one worth 200 points see it works exactly the same way 
and click down here and make this one worth 300 points. Okay, so each time we press on the green, we'll add 100. Each time we press on this brownies, we'll add 200. And this orange one will add 300. So control, test, movie, test. I add 300 and I trace three. I add three more hundred, still tracing three. Add three more hundred. I click here, I'll add two more hundred. Here I'll add a hundred, a hundred, add 300. So that's the easiest way I can think of to explain how to keep a score. So now, this would be level one. So let's lock all the layers. Select this text layer, insert a layer, and call it frame, F-R-M, capital N-A-M, as in frame names. Select that frame here, this is frame one. Open the properties panel. It should say frame up here, otherwise you don't have it selected. And in here write L-E-B-E-L-1 -E with no spaces, level one. And now you should see a little flag in here. That means it's been level one. And we're gonna go click on here and come right down. I'm on frame 10. I can tell that by looking when I finish here. And insert keyframes. And that brings it all the way up to frame 10, as you can see here at frame 10. And I can read that this is level one. And let's just test this once more. I now should trace 100. Now, you see how it jumped like that? What happened is I didn't stop it here. So it just jumped right to here and then came. So that's not good. So we've got to stop it here. So let's click on that actions frame open the actions panel, go to the very top, put a couple enters, arrow key up, ST, OP, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon. Let's test that. 200 plus 300 is 500, plus 100 is 600, plus 300 is 900, plus 100 is 1,000. So, and that looks pretty simple, I mean, your, your game's going to be a bit more complicated than that. When we accomplish something on level one, we want to move to level two. So let's click right here. This is frame 11 of this le numbers, frames numbers. Uh, insert a blank keyframe. Open the properties panel and call this level two. L-E-V-E-L, two, no spaces. And we'll do the same thing. We'll give that 10 frames. So take it up to 20. Insert a keyframe. And that's level two. And let's just uh, make sure that frame layer, frame name is selected. Insert a layer. No. Yeah, well, let's pull that down here. So it's underneath this. Click on this frame 11. Insert a blank keyframe. Make sure all the layers are locked except this new layer. And let's just come up here and pick up anything at all. I'm picking up a rectangle. And that's what's going to be the start of my level two. So I want to jump to that when I accomplish something with those level one. Go back to the action code. And I want to go down to the very bottom of the action code. Put a couple enters and put this code. Type, 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 type. Stage, small s, period, add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L. That all turns blue. Open bracket, event, E V E N T, capital E, period. This enter underscore frame is all one, all capital letters. Comma, and that's also blue comma now we go back to the black enter each frame small e capital e capital f that's just a name i'm giving it you can give it any name any name you wish as long as it doesn't turn color close bracket semicolon call up the function we've done this before copy this name here copy this name paste it in 
here, open bracket, E, small e, colon, event, capital E, V, E, N, T, that turns blue, close bracket, colon, void, void and function are the same color. Here's the open curly bracket for this function. Way down here is the closed curly bracket for this function. And inside of this function, we're going to test. Now we need this listener because um, it's on, if I didn't have this, this test we make inside would only happen once. We want it to happen over and over and over and over again. And we're saying if if turns purple, open bracket, counter underscore text, capital C. That's that box that we made. Period, T-E-X-T, -E this turns blue. If it's greater than equals, I'm just saying that, that's, that's what I'm setting this game as, greater than equals, open bracket, 1,000, close bracket, period, two string, small t, capital S, that turns blue. Uh, open bracket, close bracket, close bracket, there's the curly bracket, open curly bracket for this if. There's the closed curly bracket for this if. And in here we're saying go to and stop, open bracket 11, close bracket, semicolon. This is level two. Now there's a, some things I want you to be aware of when we do this. If I tested it now, test movie test, and click on a button, the first thing we do is we see we jumped automatically to that frame 11 but we're getting this error code 1009 cannot access a property or method of a nulled object reference and what that means is this code here is looking for these buttons and this these symbols up here so what we got to do is take these click here and drag these down like this so they're all highlighted cursor on it and take that up to frame 20 that will clear that that error so let's test it again and something else seems to be happening that I don't get I don't get why so let's go back to the action code and it's in here that I see that I found to be the problem and I don't know why it's a problem so instead of us looking at the the dynamic text we're going to look at the variable that's feeding it and that variable is called if I look up here it's called count so click here drag right across till you get to count c-l-u-n-t count greater than equals 1000 and we only need to have one bracket here I believe I'm just going to check it and that should clear that fault up and at the same time instead of going to frame 11 let's give it the frame label name so quotation mark L E V E L 2 close quotation and let's clean it up there and this should work for us And we're now set to a thousand so there's 200 there's 500 if I click this not seven eight nine so I'll click anything and it should jump into that frame I'm going to do another video I believe it is going to be flash CS6 tutorial 10 it'll be level 2 keeping score Hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.